Hey YouTube, how are we doing today? Or I should say all you viewers to be named later, how are we doing? As you can see by that big old green box with the white lettering on there, that's right, we're going to take a look at another one by CRKT. And this one is kind of new. Really excited to get this guy in, so stay tuned after we roll that intro. I'm going to show you the blade and tell you everything you need to know about it. All right, everyone, thank you so much for staying past that intro. Now, let's just get a couple quick bits of housekeeping out the way early, okay? Man, okay, I almost screwed that up, but still. As a dramatic pause, I was trying to get my thoughts back in order. If you like what you're about to see in this video, please go ahead and give me that big old thumbs up. It's going to show love and support for the channel, and that is always appreciated, especially when I screw up my opening. If you're a first-time viewer of the channel, here's a little bit of news for you. I'm not going to fix that because I like you guys enjoying my screw-ups as well as I laugh at them. Now, for you first-time viewers of the channel, you're about to see. We do things really, really differently here, okay? I kind of attribute this like a burning clown car. You're never, ever sure exactly what you're going to see, but dang it, it's going to be fun. It's going to be uh, humorous, and hopefully you'll like what you're about to see as I drop today's blade. <laughs> All right, as you saw by that opening, we're going to take a look at the CRKT Tuna. Now, from my understanding, the way this thing got its name is the designer Lucas Burnley has relocated to the Cape. And if you're outside of Massachusetts, it's called, well, the Cape. Well, I should say Cape Cod. If you're inside, you only call it the Cape. And he was inspired by um, sea life. And as he put it, as the tuna slices through the water, this should be able to slice through all of your needs. Wood, paper, cord, whatever. It should make for a great EDC blade. There you go. There's like my TV announcer voice, okay? But there it is. Um, I really, truly liked the um, black, even though it says black finish, it's like black stone washing on the blade that contrasts beautifully with the olive drab two-tone green handle. And I say it's two-tone because of, well, the little spacer, washer, whatever you want to call it there. It just, <laughs> it's got something really, really cool about it. Not to mention back here for, um, I should say this, anybody like back, back spacer back here, which is that orangey coppery color. It just, there, there's something about this blade that just looks incredibly beautiful. Now, before we get too much further, as usual, CRKT, inside the box, they give you some of their propaganda. And this one seems to be on the Chance in Hell machete, designed by Ken Onion. I don't know, I really don't have a huge need for machetes, but um, I'm a Ken Onion fan, so you never know. One day that might bring its way here on the channel. Okay, so, let's get into the fun. It's got an overall length of 7.625 inches. The blade is 3.25, and closed it's 4.50. It's got a very minor weight to it of 3.7 ounces. It is a plain edge blade, flat grind. Now, they say it's a black finish, but that looks black stone washed to me. It just, it has all those markings. And yeah, we're still using the same new lighting setup that we've been using here recently. So sorry if that picked up a glare. Now the blade steel is 8CR13MOV. It does have a stainless steel frame with the same black stone washy finish. And like I said, on one side, and I really wish they would stop doing this. I don't know why it bugs me so much. You've got one olive drab G10 scale. I really wish they'd just drop the extra couple little bucks and just put it in on the other side as well. I, it's just me. All right. It looks beautiful, but I, when you're gripping and it's bad weather, you really want that grippiness right here on the palm side not the slippery steel frame side. You know, but once again, just me. Oh, hey, look at that. There you go. You can kind of see it down in there. All right. Now, it only has a one-position pocket clip. Okay, for those of you uh, not new to my channel, you know the camera just took an another wonderful little dump. So, as I was saying, hopefully you can see in there. I love the way it just, the scale, I should say the frame, uh, magnifies off itself, and it has a one position pocket clip. You can only carry, here we go again. 
The centering on this thing isn't that bad. I mean, it looks dang near perfect to me. Okay. Uh, the only way to really open her up is the dual thumb studs, which leads it right to, as you can see there, the frame lock. You do have, you know, the lanyard hole, like I showed you before, and it is made in China. Okay. Now let's do the fun stuff that we really like to do here on the channel. Heavy duty stock paper. Let's go slow. Ah, see, that's on me. But it is pretty sharp until I started moving it a little bit further out. So it picked up that curly cue nicely. Regular little paracord. Our pull test, no problem. Let's just go for a slice test. Right through. Huh, I don't like the way that paracord looks. It almost looks like it tore instead of a really good slice, like on one side. But I can see it did pick up some of the paracord there on the blade. Let's go for the ratchet strap. Yeah, I know it's like at the end of its life. No problem there. Oh heck, let's just put it out of its misery. Let's try more of the front end. Aha, uh -huh, yeah, okay. Well, that's not too bad considering I started up here, but still. All right, now I found it in three different areas. I found it over on Amazon, CRKT, and Blade HQ. It hasn't been reviewed on any of these sites yet. All right, just like I said, it, it's a brand new blade. So on Blade HQ, it's forty-four dollars and ninety-nine cents. Over on CRKT, it's sixty-nine dollars and ninety-nine cents. In Amazon, it's fifty-three dollars and seventy-eight cents. And with Prime, you'll get free shipping. All right, now here's the fun part of the video for me. Okay. I want to know your questions, comments, love, hatred, anger, whatever, down below in the comments section. I'd love to know what you think of it, because I'll be honest, it's growing on me. The one thing I truly hate is just... Like I said, I wish they would have put G10 scales on both sides. Because, like I said, bad weather, you've only got a little grip part on the front, you know, with your fingers. Most of your grippiness comes from your hand, and I don't want that on stainless steel. But that's just me. I also want to know, do you think it's noise or an F-bomb? Noise or an F-bomb? Yeah, I forgot to patch this today. Sorry, guys. I was in a hurry to get this thing shot so I can get it edited. And I bet that's why my camera's screwing up, because it knows I want to get this done. But <laughs> for you first-time viewers of the channel, like I said earlier in this video, I'm very, very grateful you gave me some of your time today. Hopefully, I earned a lot more of it. Now, for you first-time viewers who have yet to subscribe, and you long-time viewers who have yet to subscribe, first question I have for you, and I would really appreciate this, go ahead and leave me a comment down below as to why. Tell me what I can do to earn your subscription, subscription. but please, you know, be um, constructive about it. Just don't go, channel sucks, your voice sucks, I don't like this. Give me some positive feedback there, all right? Now, after all the head's done, just take a look right down here. Okay, you're going to see a big old channel symbol popping up. Go ahead, click on that thing. It's going to bring you right to subscribe. After you've knocked that out the way, if you so choose, go ahead and destroy that bell icon that's right next to it. Here's why. All right. That bell icon, once you select it, is going to notify you every single time this channel uploads a brand new video. Now, speaking of videos, that's right. We got two going to be popping up over here. Those are going to be videos that YouTube is going to select from my catalog that they feel are going to be a great viewing experience for you. But there we go, guys. My tabletop look at the CRKT Tuna. Thank you so much for watching this weird one, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.